Next question is from Coolio Colin One. While bulking on a three time per week workout routine, should we eat in a surplus on off days as well? You know what'll simplify this for a lot of people is uh, in in generally speaking, look at your calories from a weekly basis. Now you can't get too extreme with this. It only, what I mean by that is if you're uh, you know four days out of the week you're in a deficit now you got to make up for it the last three days that could make things a little bit mm. unhealthy. But look at it from a weekly perspective. Mm-hmm. Ultimately, you want to be in a surplus by the end of the week. So if you're at a at maintenance or at a deficit three days a week, could you end up at a surplus for the week if the other four days you eat uh, you know, in a decent surplus? You totally could. This is how I tend to eat, and mainly because this uh, mimics real life more um, than eating the same thing every single day. Now, from an organizational standpoint, especially if you're tracking macros and calories and you're somebody who's you know, very planned out and you have specific goals, it's probably easier to just eat you know, in a surplus, a small surplus every single day. It's probably going to be easier for you that way. Only problem with that is then transitioning from that to real life. Uh, real life, the way we eat is not the same every single day. And, and some days you're going to eat a little less and some days you're going to eat a little bit more. But ultimately, at the end of the day, if you want to build muscle and you want to gain weight, you're trying to bulk, you have to end at a surplus uh, for the week. It, it doesn't work if you don't do that. It depends on the person I'm talking to. So if I have a client who really struggles to put weight on and 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 the bulk is is more difficult then we are probably talking about trying trying to be in a surplus every day and the reason why that is because it's hard for them to be in a surplus every day and I know it's inevitable we'll probably miss some days and so I'm probably pushing the client who struggles to bulk struggles to put weight on so the, the like let the hard gainer right the skinny kid right he that the kid that I was right I'm pushing that kid to probably eat in a surplus uh, every single day, knowing that some days we might miss, uh, to Sal's point, because I know at the end of the week, I need to definitely add up. Flip that with somebody else, somebody who, let's say, puts on body fat really quick. Um, and that person, I would prefer to go th- what Sal is saying, where I have, you know, three days, like the training days, I like to have those really heavy and hard uh, calorie days just because they're moving and they're, they're exercising or hopefully most of those calories can get partitioned over to building muscle. And then I'll have lower days on the days when they're not exercising just because it's easier that way. They don't need as much fuel and energy because they're not working out. And again, it's it mimics more like real life of the up and down. So, And I do think you can, you can be in a weekly or monthly bulk, but still have low calorie days. I think people don't understand that. It's, it, it's okay to do that. You don't just, and this was a fear I had as a young kid and thinking like, oh my God, I had a day or two of low calories. Muscle just fell off my body. It doesn't work that way whatsoever. And in fact, it's probably healthy for us to have a day or two where you're under calories, even though you're in a bulk, a day or two in the week where you're under calories, but then you're in an even bigger surplus on the other days. So mm. I prefer that for health, for the uh, a person to put a lean bulk, you know, that doesn't have a hard time with uh, adding calories. But if I'm talking to the hard gainer or the skinny kid, I'm probably trying to get him to eat as much as I can every single day. 